we have an internet of things. Everybody's got a smartwatch, a smartphone, a computer. Everything can be compromised, everything can be hacked. Everything has something to do with cyber. NCX builds the kind of cyber operator that will protect our nation the best. We don't see this level of competition in anything else that we do. It's a challenge that you don't get anywhere else. In order to succeed together, we have to compete. The four service academies, as well as ROTC teams, North Georgia, Texas A&M, and Norwich University. Three days of focus on that next generation of cyber warriors. Read me the other domains. Let's see if we can at least figure out what it is. Because that might maybe help us with something else. .165.171. Got one six five. <laughs> nope. nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> We've done a lot of things with host forensics, network forensics, Linux, and Windows environments, uh, just all in preparation for this module. It's done. The forensics portion, digging through all the data, trying to look for the little little pieces of information that you can use to find a solution, is a very interesting experience to go through. We were given a bunch of image files that we had to look at and find ransomware. We had to find who sent it, the address they sent it at, what they used to encrypt it. So we could have gotten the hash, we could have gotten that file that's encrypted with the Xcrypt. We should write the essay because then we can just pull it out of the essay and it'll be an okay. abstract. This is something that is much more complicated than you know, your standard level of war fighting. The cybersphere does not have boundaries. We got like two minutes. Cyber defense is going to be one of the most important aspects of defending our national security. Yes, increased national cyber force um, as a cross-agency effort through the totality of the intelligence community. Okay. Cyber ultimately is like a team sport. There's a lot of different elements that will have to play together and work together. The first step we need to do is restore our civil services. Yeah. So yeah. that includes the voting, that includes yeah. stopping the riots. How about we ask Cyber Command what kind of resources they can bring to the states? Like, can we deploy federal mm -hmm. cyber forces to the states? There's 42 states that were affected. What's the difference between those 42 and the eight that weren't? Our strategy was getting technical people spun up on speaking and maintaining that composure for a policy competition. So we're actually working on the PCAP. The first task was like just doing some filtering stuff. And now we're looking at an attack that's called port knocking in the PCAP, and they're looking in the disk image to find files. There are three ports. You need three ports for your knocking. Being able to take a set of data and map the trends of it and be able to pick out abnormalities or breaks in the trends of data I find that extremely fascinating. Hey, I actually got something for seven. Big data, when it came down to it, it was traffic analysis. We were very excited that it was something that we could do. It was a little bit challenging, but we were confident in our skills. Coming to do something like NCX allows you to apply the skills you learn in your security class and take those to an application that you wouldn't get in a classroom. We are developing voter registration software for some fictional country, and then we're taking a pre-made voting software and trying to find ways to break it so it can be fixed in the future. With binary, you would write like 0B and then the binary number, hex, you write 0X and then the number. What do you do for octal? Any of that worked. A lot of people go into this field not understanding what is hacking. They think it's like the movies where you just slam your fingers on a keyboard and magical things happen. I wish. Hey, it loaded things. <laughs> it's not supposed to look like that. But that's okay. It works.
we're pretty excited for the cyber combat exercise. At our core, we still find hacking to be the most fun. So the attack is now open. NCX, it allows us to play in an environment that we don't normally get to do in something that in the real world you're not playing, it's, it's real. This one, it looks like it's base 64, but it's not. It's not. It's not. I got it. What? What? I just used Cyber Chef. I let it brute force it. Get out and vote. Get out and vote. That was the flag. Well, that's 100 points. With Cyber, you have guidelines that you follow, but it's more art than it is science. The red versus blue team, you have one team attacking, one team defending. It's a lot of thinking on your feet trying to solve the issue right at hand. They reset their password and I beat them to changing it again. <laughs> so this has been three times I've gotten that guy's password. We have, I think, five machines we need to keep track of, services to keep up, services to attack. As soon as this resets, just paste that and then type whatever I tell you. Okay. And all that management makes doing the individual tasks even more difficult. It's about pwn and stuff. It's about hacking people, being where you're not supposed to be on a network. <laughs> so, like, There's the intel that we just exfilled. There's some more intel. There's the people whose boxes are down. <laughs> They're having a bad day. Defense ends up being more of a whack-a-mole type of thing where you're like, oh crud, they figured something out. What was it and how do I fix it? Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the National Security Agency, I am pleased to announce the 2019 winner of the NSA Cyber Exercise the U.S. Air Force Academy. Congratulations. Well done. Come, come join us at Cyber Command and NSA. We'd love to have you. Uh, sir, they, some of them are going to fly airplanes. Okay. <laughs> and this was not just a few of us that drove. This is weeks of work for the whole team that made it happen. Well, well done to all the teams this week. Tremendous amount of learning went on, tremendous amount of accomplishments, but at the end of the day, we take our hats off to the Air Force Academy.